Hey, what is going on, everybody? Mavoda here, and welcome back to another episode on the Fairy Tale Origin server. How are you guys doing today? Hope you're doing well. We're going to start off with a comment from the last video. Um, basically, last video, I was trying to uh, expand the biome that my new base is in, the Ominous Woods. I wanted to expand it a little bit in the biome surrounding it, and I was derping and couldn't do it. And Christopher Bennett pointed out to me, you need a seer stone to summon your coven. We needed uh, four of our coven witches. And I was getting ex confused as to like, I'm like, I have a full coven. I have like six witches in my coven. Why is there no uh, witches coming? Why can't I do this ritual? It's because I was not using the seer stone. Do I have it on me? No, I think I, actually, yeah, I think I do. Let's try it. There. Yeah, I was not using this guy. Uh, which is dumb of me. But yeah, we have it, uh, I basically got it working. We're gonna do that today, uh, real quick. I did change one of the biomes, but just wanted to show you guys, so we'll do it again. And, uh, actually, we are sitting on five lucky blocks. You guys left over 50 likes on the last episode, so thank you very much. For those of you guys who do not know, for every, uh, ten likes we get on the episode, I will open up a lucky block in the next episode, which could give us something wonderful or something horrible. So, thank you guys once again for all the likes and all the support that you've been leaving. And thank you, Christopher, your, for your comment. You wanted to be a werewolf. So there you are. You are a werewolf. Um, cool. So, let us get out and do the lucky blocks. Let's make sure it's nighttime first, though. What time is it? It is totally daytime. And I believe I moved my... Yeah, I moved it. Okay. Okay, uh... Let's go to the second base quick. And let's make it nighttime. Ooh. Little lag. Sometimes does that when I log... When I uh, come over here for the first time. Awesome. We've been getting our, uh... Our guys in here all bred up too, so uh, so soon we're gonna have a room full of owls. I did it. Why? Half the time the coffin just does not work. Does not make a nighttime, so I gotta do it again. Do 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 do. Okay. Let me. Uh, oh yeah, I think I already got that working. Uh, let us. I was going to maybe do it somewhere near here, but let's just go out to our lucky block spot. Real quick. Okay. Um, where can I dump out some stuff? We do that. No real room in that one. This one we have room, though. We'll take that, that, and our pick back. And to make this fair... We will lose our armor to make it more fun. I just want to get away from those chests. Should I get... I should probably... Uh, oh, hey, donkey. Should probably get rid of my ability to fly, too, huh? Or else, really, there's no chance of me dying. Okay. Uh, more spawn eggs. Okay. What do we got? Witch, ocelot, mushroom, chicken. Cool. Hey, pig stack. That was my nickname in high school. They called me pig stack. That's so stupid. Okay. Oh, God. Totally gonna die. Here we go. Doink. Oh, wait. I got the extra heart, so I'm not gonna die. Look at that. At least I, I took the hit. That was, uh... Wow, that was almost like 20 hearts. That's crazy. All right, next one. Oh, hey, friend. Can I uh, tickle your toes? Tickle, 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 tickle. Tickle, 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 tickle. Oh. Oh, sorry about that. I'm an aggressive tickler. Um, what was that? Ender chest? I hear you, Cyclops. Don't even get sassy with me all right so we got some ender chests cool one more lucky block here we go what's it gonna be eh it is gonna be 
chickens and diamonds. Living like a king with chickens and diamonds. <laughs> Oops. Uh, thank you guys once again for all the likes on the last episode. Really, really awesome. And don't forget, for every 10 likes you guys leave, we will open up a lucky block in the next episode. Uh, so let's get to flying here. Gonna get my stuff. And let's get uh, back over to the base quickly and I'll show you guys at least that ritual and then I'm gonna figure out what else I want to do today uh, so let me get all my stuff together and I will be right back with you okay so we're back and as you see on the mini map there's a little circle over here and it hasn't really changed the grass but it has done the most important thing it has made it all foggy and crazy in here so we have turned this into an ominous biome oh and it looks like the trees have started to change and stuff too which is really cool. Um, I just want to see, as you see, it didn't really spread that far. So I want to get the area in between right here. So I kind of flattened out a little bit of an area just so we can give an example. And we'll put down our talisman for our 15 by 15 circle. Uh, put down an altar. We will put a head on it uh, along with a chalice. Um... When I was doing the other one, it kind of, ex uh, creeper kind of came up and exploded it. <laughs> uh, so, oh yeah, I filled that in just with wood. It's, it was all I had. Um, yeah, so when it came up and it exploded it, I lost my candelabra. That's why we don't have a candelabra on here to help this fill up faster. But that's fine. Um, we'll just look at what we need here. I believe I have everything with me. We need a spider eye. A tall frog, all of that, tongue of dog, owlet's wing, a tombstone, um, both charged and uncharged tombstones, and our seer stone to activate it. And this should do the trick. Uh, how are we looking on? Altar power. Eh. Might as well let it fill up real quick. Because I don't really know how much power I need for this, but might as well be full just to be safe. Uh, be right back. Okay, we're approaching 3,600 now. It is going to be... You know what? We'll let that fill, and we will make sure it stays uh, nighttime real quick. So we'll go back. This is a good way to kill a couple of seconds anyway while that's filling up. Uh, so oh, it's not quite even day yet. So we'll make it day, make it a fresh night, and then we'll go change that biome real quick. Okay. Now we good? I think we are. Cool. Fresh night. Let's do this. So this is so cool. I'm going to have to be doing a lot of this because I want to expand the biome a pretty good amount. So let us do this quick. Sorry about that, guys. Had a quick phone call that I had to take. I was waiting on, so... uh. Let's continue here. So we throw all our items down. Like so. And then click with that. And now we get our coven. Awesome. So we need four of them for this ritual. I believe all six show up anyway. Which is cool. Uh, so watch the mini map. Watch the area around us. We're about to have a new biome. Ouch. Missing an item. Oh, I forgot the foci. So lame. Okay. Um, I'm going to have to charge another attune stone. Get another owlet's wing. Okay. I completely forgot something. Ah. Uh, let me show you what I forgot real quick. Do I have the book here? Uh, yes, I do. Book of Biomes. If you look at Ominous Woods, basically these numbers over here to the left uh, represent how much glowstone you have to throw in there. Like, that's the foci. And the foci, I gotta put a skull skeleton skull in there as well. So, I do have the skeleton skull. Uh, gotta charge a couple more tombstones now, which isn't hard. It's just I gotta go back to the other base to do it right now. Um, uh, okay, I'm gonna do that, get everything ready, I'll be right back, derp. 
Okay, charge another tombstone. Thank you. Grab one of these, one of these, and one of these. Sorry, buddy, I hate to do it, but I gotta kill you. No wing. Oh no, I gotta kill another one. Huh? Yeah, I got a wing. Okay. Okay, so we should be good to try this again. So, we got Spider Eye, Toe of Frog, Wool of Bat, Tongue of Dog, Owlet's Wing, a Charged a Tombstone, an Unacharged a Tombstone, our Folk Eye, which is a Skeleton Skull, and Nine Glowstone. And, how's our altar power looking? Completely full. Alright, this should work now. I'm such a derp. This is what happens when you try to do circle magic when you're distracted by phone calls. <laughs> Okay. Watch the map and watch around us. It'll go ominous woods. Ooh, awesome. Cool. So this has been expanded a little bit now. Um, so it does it in kind of little sections. So we're going to have to do this a lot. Like I'm going to have to do another one probably right around here-ish. And... I want to get it so that, um, because how, how it stands right now, like, let's see here, like if I go over here, for example, like right now we have the limited vision, so you don't really see my base until you get up close to it, which is what I want. I want to be kind of hidden and ominous and dark and, uh, but if you kind of come over here, you come into this biome and you come out of the thing and you can see my base crystal clear so we're gonna have to expand it certainly a good amount in this direction over here we're gonna have to do this a lot um, I want to get it so that this place is completely hidden uh, one of you guys mentioned also that I should make a sort of dome up here uh, which is what I think I was planning on doing anyway I think I'm gonna do it kind of like gazebo style so I'm gonna flatten this out up here um, I think I'm gonna put my Thalmcraft, uh, oh, like infusion altar. Is that what it's called? I can't remember. Uh, yeah, but we're gonna put our Thalmcraft altar up here. And then I'm gonna have, uh, one of those dome kind of things, but on pillars. So it's kind of like a gazebo sitting on top up here. I think that'll look pretty cool. And what else? There was something else I wanted to show you guys. Um... This is still just kind of trucking along and giving me life essence, right? I believe it is. Yep. Constantly filling up. We are almost up to half now. We're almost up to 5 million life points. Really cool. Oh, and another thing I wanted to show you guys. Uh, since the last episode, um, I have kind of fixed these guys a little bit. You're, you're the gatherer. Yeah, if you right-click on them, you can um, basically whitelist and blacklist items. So, uh, well, whitelist items. So once you tell him what to pick up, he will only pick up that stuff. So now we're a little bit more organized where we don't have these guys like... Um, like the guys from the gold one picking up diamonds and stuff. It's pretty much now down to only golds going into these chests. And only diamonds going into this one. And then um, I've set up two over here by uh, the Ender ones because I constantly need Ender Pearls. I am totally running out of this all the time. I got 27 fuel right now, but I'm constantly wanting to fill this thing with Ender Pearls. Uh, so I think, hmm, what should we do? You know what? Let's continue with a little bit of Thalmcraft, actually. Because, as I mentioned, I want to make uh, the altar. So, maybe we'll do that today and see if we can start to do some stuff. A lot of you guys mentioned I should do, like, get wand foci and stuff like that. And I'm going to need to set this up for that. So, um, I'm going to start getting things ready for that. And I will be right back with you guys. Okay, back at the first base. And I believe we're ready to start crafting some stuff here. Oh, there's already an auto shard in there. Um, I think we can use any shards for this. Alright. I didn't know. I don't know what that is. Um, and we should be able to do this. Cool. So we're gonna need, um, 
I think a good amount of this arcane stone block. Let's see. Um. Oops. If we take a look at this. Arcane stone brick. Okay. Um, and what do you use that for? Alright, um, basically what we're gonna need is these arcane pedestals. Uh, oh, we could start to make some of those right now. Uh, how many will that give us? Two? Okay. I'm gonna try to get probably about nine of these guys, and then I also need... A runic matrix and we're gonna need four of these right yeah I'm gonna need four of those and then for the runic matrix I need four of those an ender pearl and a shard and some ordo in there which we don't have enough of so we're probably gonna have to go refill our wand and um yeah, I'm going to need to get more, some more stuff, like an Ender Pearl and stuff like that. Okay, so I'm going to craft up like nine of these uh, Runic Matrix, and I already have those. All right, yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, we are at the second base, and I think we're ready to go. I filled in the rest of this, just did a little bit of a uh, pattern with the Abyssal. Abyssal? Is that what it's called? Abyssal stone and uh, some chiseled cobble. Uh, so what we need to do is we need to do that. One of those, and I think it's, we put the bricks around like so, and put blocks on top of that. Yes. And then, actually we're gonna put eight of these on here, so, yeah, we'll do it like this. So we got the pedestal surrounding it, and then I think we need to, we'll just use one of these. We need to put down the matrix uh, one above like that so we'll just break that block now if we hit this with our wand we should have our thing huh? no no hmm how you work oh I know why because I don't have enough uh yeah I'm low on an aspect I think it's Ordo. Uh, let me go fill up again and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. All filled up. We should be good now. Now. There we go. How cool. <laughs> so we have our altar now. Now let's see some of the things I wanted to do with this. Uh, there's a bunch of things I want to do with this. Uh, we're going to need to get Wan Folk Eye, but I might save that for next episode because uh, getting close to wanting to wrap this episode up uh i want to look at the lamp of growth um so we're gonna need all these things oh we're gonna need so yeah this is the stuff i gotta look into because we need uh to start storing our vis and different vials and stuff like that so um amber block niter yeah this is gonna take a little bit of work and a lot of these Oh, I need scribing tools and stuff to get all these. Yeah, a lot of these are all made in here. Uh, yeah, we're going to need to do a little bit more setup, but I just wanted to get this started at least. Do I have a wand? Yeah, let's add a little light around here. Temporary for now. Um, so I think that's going to be it for today. I need to do a little bit more homework as far as... Uh, getting this thing working and uh next episode we'll uh get into that and uh pretty soon hey i hate it when it doesn't work uh pretty soon we need to uh do some other witchery stuff like a lot of people mentioned i fight baba yaga and i need to go to the spirit world to start getting uh, i think it's called maleficent maleficent hunger or something like that for some of the cool stuff i want to do in the future uh we have a lot to do um so anyway i hope you guys did enjoy 
If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. really helps out a lot. For every 10 likes you guys leave, we will open up a lucky block in the next episode. And don't forget to keep those comments coming. Uh, some help with this Thalmcraft stuff would be helpful. And uh, yeah, I will pick out a comment each uh, episode and put you guys in my comment of the day room. Anyway, thanks again for watching, guys. We will see you next time. Bye-bye.